What's up everyone and welcome back to the last beautiful day here at Lock Haven University. This is your Go LHU Midweek Report. I'm Kaylin Choplowski and she's Nicole Necci. This week we'll be meeting with head wrestling coach Scott Moore, head men's basketball coach Mike Nestor, and head cross country coach Aaron Russell. And that Midweek Report starts right now. All right, we're here with head wrestling coach Scott Moore. Coach, you're going to Eastern Michigan. You got some duels this weekend. Why don't you give us a little preview about? It? Yeah, we're excited. We're heading to Eastern Michigan. It's one of our uh, you know road trips we're going on this year. It's a little bit different schedule than we had last year. Some real tough competition. Essentially, it's us versus the whole MAC conference. We wrestle Ohio University, Kent State, Eastern Michigan, and Southern Illinois. So we're the thing that I like about it the most is we got four tough matches in one day, a lot of ranked opponents, a lot of possibilities for upsets, and just putting our guys in a situation where they get to wrestle the best in the country, and that's what we're trying to do is wrestle the toughest competition, see where we're at, see what we need to work on, and uh, you know, hopefully coming out of there with some good team wins and also a lot of individual wins. Um, after this weekend, taking second at the Brockport, Oklahoma tournament, uh, we are pretty excited about beating Kent State, beating Army, beating Buffalo, uh, beating Bloomsburg pretty bad. Our guys wrestled really well. They were really aggressive, scored a lot of bonus points, and uh, just just showed up. You know, that's what we're looking for. A lot of effort, a lot of heart, and a lot of consistent th consistency throughout a day. And uh, you know, we're going to take the same effort this weekend at the Eastern Michigan Duels. Start off with Ohio and uh, just battle through the day. And we're we're hoping to come out of there with a lot of great wins, a lot of individual upsets. All right. Thanks a lot, Coach, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. Welcome to the head men's basketball coach, Mike Nestor. Coach, coming up this weekend, Shepard and Willing Jesuit. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, we're excited. We uh, open up at the Shepard Classic this year. We have Shepard on Friday at 7.30 and Wheeling Jesuit on Saturday at 4 p.m. Both great competition games for us. Uh, Mount East is a great league. Uh, the PSAC and the Mount East kind of go head-to-head -head a lot all season long. So it's really going to give us a good starting point for our season and kind of show us where we're at and what we need to work on. And it's going to give us a good boost uh, for Wednesday's first home opener against East Stroudsburg, which we're excited about. Uh, you know, with a lot of uh, returners back this year, we're feeling pretty confident uh, just on where we're at in terms of what guys know and what they need to know uh, right now. So. You know, the only really new guy getting a ton of minutes is, is Theo West, and, and he came in at the break, so it's not like he's new, but he's, he's going to be one of our premier players this year in the blocks. Everyone else from last year's team, I, I think, is ready to go, and there's a lot of excitement right now around the program. Coach Mike Ness, their first time on the Midweek Report. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Here with head cross-country coach Aaron Russell. Coach, last weekend the men placed first at PCC's championships. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, it was an okay race by our guys, uh, it turned into a strategic race, um, had people pretty packed up and things, but it really, uh, really turned out well for us. Uh, one by 20 points, uh, eight all-conference runners is the most we've ever had. Um, and even though it was rainy and, well it was dry, but it had rained the night before, the course was slow, we had our fastest uh, overall time as a team we've ever had, so very nice. excited for their uh, very nice. And the women placing fourth, could you talk a little bit about that? Uh, we were really excited. We knew going in that anywhere from fourth to ninth place, uh, you know, on any given day, any, any one of us could be in there. We're, we're all very similar teams. Um, with a 400 to go, we were in eighth place, uh, and, and our, our ladies really kicked it in the last 400 meters and uh, came out in, in fourth place. So uh, we're really looking forward to uh, another week here going to regionals and uh, hoping to move up one more spot with our three national leagues. Absolutely. we got regionals two weeks away, so take this weekend, rest up, get ready to go next week. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. That'll do it for this week's edition of the GoLHU.com Midweek Report. Make sure to stay up to date this weekend on our website. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Haven Athletics. She's Nicole Necci. I'm Kalen Chopolowski. Have a good night, America. See ya.